I am inside the mobile blood unit. I've already done it today. It only takes about five minutes. I am joined with Joshua Buckley, Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center, along with Jerry Shorten, who's a blood recipient. We're going to get to your story in just a second. Joshua, this is a busy time for you guys. It's always a busy time. Tell me what the need is in our backyard for blood donations. We need 800 donations a day in, need in order to meet all the needs of the patients and the 170 health care facilities that we provide products to. It's super easy. It's painless. I, it literally, my blood draw took five minutes today. That was it. And this is our 27th year at KPRC doing the summer blood drive. This really does make a difference, right? It really does because during the summer months, we see donations decline. You know, kids are out of school. Everybody's on vacation. But that need for 800 donations is constant. So this is a great time for us to educate all of the KPRC viewers to come out, donate it. We need it every day. This is where you can do it, right here at our studio, 8181 Southwest Freeway. Super easy to get to. As journalists, we like to put faces to the stories that we put on TV, and this is one way that we're going to do it today. Jerry Shorten, you're a blood recipient. Take me to the back to the time that you were a recipient, that you needed this blood. Absolutely. So, actually, I was born with two uh, uh, diagnoses. So, one is skids. And then another one is being awesome, but I want to come back, so. <laughs> being awesome. <laughs> but, you are awesome. But let, let me tell you about skids. Yeah. So when people hear skids, and they're like, what is that? And skids is a fear combined immune deficiency. So basically, I was born with no, uh, no immune system. Uh, I was born with no B cells, T cells, and really low uh, natural killer cells. Um, my life doesn't just really start with me. It goes way back whenever my two brothers was alive. Um, I had an older brother named uh, Dedrick and an older brother named Wesley. They both had the same condition and they both had passed away. Um, my older brother passed away at seven months and he was actually in the actual bubble. And I'm not for sure you heard of David the Bubble Boy, yes, right? Yes. You have? Okay, so he was actually right across the hall from David the Bubble Boy. Um, so it was right in the 70s. And my mom had, my mom and dad had Wesley, was my second brother. He, he, he passed away at the age of nine months and he didn't make it either. Then my mom and dad had my sister named Noelle and she was perfect, healthy baby. And then they had me. And then when they had me, um, my sister was actually my bone marrow uh, transplant at two and a half years old. And I'm here today. Unbelievable. I, you are making the hair stand up on the back of my neck. I have to tell you what an incredible story. Thank you so much for sharing that. And this is what this is all about, guys. Come down and see if you can be a donor today. It's very easy. Joshua, the process doesn't take long at all, even if somebody doesn't have a donate uh, a spot today. Yeah, no, absolutely. You can just uh, go online. If you can't make it out to the station today, the blood drive with KPRC runs all the way through the 17th. So you can go online, find a location, sign up for an appointment and come donate and help people like Jerry here. I mean, Jerry still takes medicine that's made from blood products. So your donations are helping keep Jerry alive. What is so incredible, and when you see people, we're in the mobile unit, There, there's donors in here. I did it today. and um, Thank you. Uh, well, no, I, I don't even need the thank you. It was my pleasure to do it. Yes. And and I love my armband. It matches my outfit today. <laughs> um, but when you see these people in here, just coming in, complete strangers to mm -hmm. you, knowing what this does to you mm -hmm. and your life and your family, what do you say to these donors? What would I wanna, you like to say to them? I want to tell the donors thank you, because you don't understand Understand how important the blood donations are. Um, when I was two weeks old, I had blood transfusion to help me keep me alive because they did so many tests to try to figure out what is skids, what is this going on yeah. with this young man. And so many other people have lost their lives and able to, for me to, to live the legacy. I used to be really scared to tell the story. I was very ashamed of telling the story and now I feel like it's bigger than me. Um, it's for my future future. Absolutely, you're not alone and you should celebrate who you are as a person and what this has done for you. And that's the whole reason why you're here. Yes, thank you. Oh thank my you. gosh, what a great what a great story, you guys. This is so incredible. The, um, the mobile unit will be here today until three o'clock. Come to 8181 Southwest Freeway, KPRC see also a few extra things some some coupons and t-shirts and stuff i gotta send it back to the studio but you get swag when you donate blood people hey. yeah hey. swag hey. back to y'all <laughs> oh, thank so nice you so much for that you. what an incredible thank story you. by the way and a reminder that just one blood donation can save three lives so get in here if you haven't already scheduled your appointment